On September 30, 2014, NASA, Lockheed Martin, and ATK successfully completed a static test of the launch abort motor igniter for the Orion Crew Capsule's Launch Abort System, or LAS. Conducted at ATK's facility in Promontory, Utah, this test moved the igniter toward qualifying for production. The LAS will be placed on top of the Orion spacecraft, the first spacecraft capable of taking humans to multiple destinations in deep space. Orion will launch aboard NASA's Space Launch System, SLS, and its LAS will include an escape rocket on top of the capsule that can carry the crew to safety if any anomalies occur during the launch. The abort motor is critical to the safety of those flying aboard the Orion spacecraft and ATK is operating at the highest standard to ensure this motor will be ready and reliable if needed. SLS and Orion provide an unmatched combination of mass, volume and speed that can deliver humans and cargo to deep space faster, safer and more affordably than any other existing vehicles or proposed options. Prior to the LAS IG2 qualification test, technicians exposed the igniter to vibrations and extreme temperatures to simulate pre-operating and maximum flight temperature conditions. This igniter design enables the abort motor to activate within milliseconds, lifting the crew module to safety with an acceleration over 10 Gs. Previous tests include a development test that verified igniter performance analytical models prior to a static test of the launch abort motor and pad abort 1, a ground launch test of the entire LAS. Continuing work on SLS includes the welding of the rocket's fuel tanks in the vertical assembly center at the NASA Michoud facility located in New Orleans. NASA anticipates a test fire of the RS-25 engine by the end of the year at the Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. This year's milestones will conclude with Orion's first test flight, Exploration Flight Test 1, or EFT-1, scheduled for December. Because this test flight is uncrewed and the abort motor and attitude control motors will not be needed, the only live motor on the LAS will be the jettison motor. EFT-1 will take Orion farther into space than a spacecraft built for humans has traveled in more than 40 years. The test flight is the next step on our journey to deep space. Another milestone will take place in early 2015 when ATK static test fires its full-scale SLS booster qualification motor 1, QM1, at its facilities in northern Utah.